There is. And fucking grab a mic and start shouting. Whatever the fuck you be shouting. That is fucking insane. It's not. This isn't like. This isn't a fucking game. This is our fucking lives. I don't know who the fuck that person thinks they are to come up on stage and fucking try and assault Josh or fucking do whatever they were. But the other fucking thing is, when he was on the fucking floor, screaming in my fucking face, telling me to respect Tom and play some fucking old songs. I tell you what, we were just playing the fucking oldest song in the set, you stupid fuck. We respect Tom every single fucking day of our lives and every single moment that this band has continued on with. So to turn around and think that my fucking best friend is being fucking attacked by somebody, get the fuck out of here. It's just music. This is the thing, this is the thing that people need to understand. This shit that goes on the internet, the way that people fucking talk to each other. It can't fucking carry on like this. It's just fucking music. We're just up here doing our fucking best. There's no need for violence, there's no need to run up on stage and do this shit. It's 20 fucking 23. really really does go on and let me tell you life is very fucking fleeting we do not know how long we are on this fucking earth for so i'm not gonna let some fucking piece of shit ruin my night everyone in this stage tonight and everyone in this room and everyone in this room that has spent their hard-earned fucking money to come and see a band be fucking ruined by that so what we're gonna do and you're gonna fucking join me in this is we're just gonna shake off that bad vibe. Are you ready? Three, two, one, shake it off. This song's for Tom. Hit it.
How many people in this room saw the live stream that we did at Royal Albert Hall? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. When we did that, it was a really weird time, obviously, because of fucking COVID. <laughs> but it gave us the opportunity to do something cool like this, and we're really glad that we can do this for you this evening. We're really glad that we can play these songs for you like this. Yeah. If you know this song, sing it. This song's called A Wasted Him. Thank you so much. Make some noise for yourselves right now. Just having a cup of tea, as you do.
I just want to say thank you again for being here this evening and thank you for allowing us to be this band, allowing us to play our songs for you. It's absolutely incredible. I want you to know that what we do, we do for you and I want you to understand that we are well, well fucking aware that you spend your hard earned money to come to this show, you work and you spend your fucking money and the fact that you have done that for us this evening to watch our band means the fucking world so we're giving you everything we have, thank you. Now, I'm not going to be the only one in this room that struggles with their mental health and I'd be absolutely lying to you if I, if I was saying that right now I wasn't fucking pranging out super hard and what happened earlier in the set has sent my fucking mind spinning and I'm fucking like freaking out but I'm aware I'm aware that I'm not alone in how I feel sometimes. I'm aware that I'm not the only person in the room that has problems out here. And I want you to know that if you are going through that, I'm with you, I understand you, and I love you. There is a real problem, there's a real problem, and I, especially in men, with not speaking up and not saying how you're feeling. And it's fucking terrifying. And I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a lot of friends in this country that have taken their own lives through struggling and not speaking out and not talking and not asking for help. And I want you to know, again, I know I've said it, you are not alone. If you are going through this, please, Speak to family, speak to friends. Speak to therapists. I promise you, the strongest you will ever be in your life is when you pick up that phone to a therapist and you say you need help. Because trust me, I've been there. I've fucking been there. This room. I love you so much and I thank you so much for your support, honestly. Now I'd like you to make some noise for our dear friend that has been on the last few tours with us. Please put your hands together for Mr. Ryan Burnett right now. It's his first fucking time in Australia. And we've just been like, bro, you can fucking love it. We fucking love it. Everyone fucking makes us feel at home. You're gonna have the best fucking time. Are you having the best fucking time, Ryan? Are you having the best fucking time with Ryan? Sing this song as loud as you can with me. This is a very important song to me, and these are some of the best lyrics that I think Dan has ever written. This song's called, Burn Down My House. Woo! Yeah. 